You know, a little while ago, I hope you saw it, uh, we aired a piece featuring current Fox 29 employees sharing their accounts of working here uh, 20 years ago on September the 11th. Yeah, it's been 20 years, but as evidenced by the piece, a lot of people are still hurting. But then we would look for, you know, signs of hope out there. I remember um, when they dropped that American flag. You know, I had, um, I had worked in Washington for a number of years, drove past the Pentagon daily almost. And for me, the Pentagon was this amazing sign of strength for us. So Tom there is, uh, by the way, welcome. To, uh, great to see you in person after oh, a year and a half, two years. Good to see you Dr. too. Dr. Archie's here in the, in the studio. Uh, Tom has uh, been one of our photographers for years and years and years, and he was 20 years ago. Still emotional. I think we're all still emotional about yeah. it. Why after 20 yeah, years? Yeah, yeah. We all went through this collective trauma together. And when we think about anniversaries and we deal with grief and loss, it can feel like it happened yesterday. This was collective trauma where we all felt like we got punched in the gut. Mm -hmm. And I don't know anybody that doesn't know where they were when 9-11 no, happened. Remember. And I think yeah. we have those conversations when we come up to like this time of year when we're out with people, we say, where were you? Tell me your story. Yeah. And we tell our stories. Mm -hmm. And I find that even though it's upsetting and brings tears, that it's also very helpful to share those stories. Yeah, I mean, tears are good for the soul, right? And sharing those collective stories of where you were and what you were doing, and also the, the tenacity and the resilience and the determination of us all coming together yeah. for a collective goal, even in difficult times, I think that that's something to be is able it, to celebrate. Is it like a mild case of PTSD? Well, it absolutely, well, I don't know if it's mild or not. Sometimes yeah. it can be major, sometimes it can be mild, but post-traumatic stress disorder is a is stress related to the trauma. And we all experience that trauma, that stress, those cortisol levels, that anxiety, wondering when it, if it's going to happen again. Um, we all know somebody that was connected to New York or the, the Twin Towers. And so just thinking about that can be traumatic in and of itself. Mm -hmm. There's so many people from our area that we lost in the Delaware and Lehigh Valleys. Um, two people I knew in particular, and it's one of those things. I went up to the 9-11 Memorial, and it just, uh, my friends, Jeff Cole on the mm. left, he worked there at the um, Windows of the World. He worked with the what, one of the wine sommelier, um, grew up here, went to Episcopal Academy, and so you rub your hands along his um, name mm. when you're up there, and I saw his face certainly at the memorial. And then that's Christopher Clark. We all called him Buddha. Buddha Clark, mm. and he worked in finance. And they're just two of the many people we lost. And I look at their faces, and you know, like I knew them growing up. And it's real hard. It's real yeah, hard. Yeah, and so sorry for your loss, right? You know, you ask questions about, well, what do you say when you think about someone that lost someone? Sometimes you can't say anything, right? Sometimes you just have to be present mm -hmm. and say, I'm here for you, or say, what do you need? I'm, I'm gonna be here for you. And I see sort of, I don't know whether you're tearing up or whether you have allergies, but it <laughs> They're happens. They're allergies. <laughs> that ragweed is so bad right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's emotional, right? But I don't want us to move away from the emotion, right? In order to heal, we have to feel. But we can't heal what we don't reveal. And so being transparent about those emotions can really help us you know, to move to a place of healing and wholeness. Doctor, there's been so many documentaries over the last week, you, like five or six yeah. different outlets that show this over and over. Is that healthy? Well, to a certain degree it is, right? Because it reminds us of how much we've gone through and grown yeah. through. It's only unhealthy if it becomes obsessive. So I say, you know, monitor yourself, monitor your children. It's okay for your kids to watch, but also tell them that there's a courageous conversation in this too. How do we talk about the stories of re resilience and the ways in which we've gone through this? So yeah, watch, remember, learn what you can do and learn the lessons and the takeaways from that experience. Somebody very close to me, uh, has not flown since that day. Can't get on an airplane. You don't feel safe. Yeah. Yeah, well, here's the thing. We're safer now than we were before 9-11. That is absolutely true. And we haven't had another incident like that. But the key here is to make sure that you have a plan. Be aware, be alert. These things can happen. So the more alert we are and the more we share it with our friends so that we have a collective effort moving forward about how we're gonna handle these kinds of things. Is there some kind of deep-seated fear that it, it well, probably not in deep-seated. It might be really raw on the surface that, that it could happen again. Well, 
yeah, I mean, and the truth is that it can, right? We need to be aware of foreign and domestic danger. It deep seatedly, we know that there's there's people out there that are trying to, you know, move towards this goal of affecting us or attacking us, and we need to know that that's that's the reality, right? So what do we do about that? We talk about it. We process it. We understand what we can do about it. And if you need to talk to someone like a, me a professional, a therapist, yeah. do that, right? At this point, therapy is a good thing. Everybody should have somebody to process these things I with. Because we can't handle it on our own. So when you turn on the TV right now and it's like all the little thumbnails come up for all the specials, I think it's important to sort of sit in it a little bit. And you know, we would say never forget, but you can't never forget if you don't remember, if you don't go through that. And remember the heroes. And just, I think of after 9-11, it was the most horrible thing, but we were some of the best that we ever were. The way that we came together, there's something that was really important about that and sweet, and sometimes I wish we had more of that right now today, how we felt so connected. connected. We're all New Yorkers, yeah. we're all brought together. Yeah. We all felt yeah. unified. Yeah, and we wanted to help each other, right? That was the highest versions of ourselves that we ascended to, and we need to capture that, mm -hmm. harness that, and continue that. Yeah, we have it. <laughs> Where did all that go? <laughs> we're about as far away right now in America than than we were on those days. Well, we got to get back to it. We yeah, let's get back hope to so. it. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you guys you. too. That's your husband. He's great. Yeah. He's right over there. Yeah, he's very handsome. He is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>